What's going on, Schmitty Garage? Doing blend door actuators on a Chevy Impala 2009 or 10, I believe. Um, you need, this is what I used. I used a pick to undo the electrical connector right there. Um, I used a quarter inch socket set with a swivel with a six inch extension and three eggs three inch extension and a 5.5 millimeter um yeah so this is uh it's not horrible but you gotta program these things and it's not very fun um what i did was i just dropped the glove box down the passenger side is right over there to the left of the glove box two bolts hold it in the 5.5 millimeter you disconnect that blue plug right there and then the trick it's not hard to take these out and change them out the hard part is getting it to program correctly so there's a million videos online but what I did was I just took it out I plugged the new one in without um, you know putting it back in and then you go to the climate control and you put them both on cold you know go hot or cold or whatever it takes to get it to move I finally got to work I put it on full cold and then you gotta wait forever for it to move into position and then once it's in full cold it'll, you'll, you'll see it start to spin 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 and then stop and then there you go and then just turn that flap on the cold on the inside and hook it all back up and then test it out Finally got this headed both sides, so driver side and passenger side. Driver side's not a whole lot of fun. Once again, it's all doable. Um, oh, also, if you ever got a door that's popping, um, this door was squeaking and popping, and um, all you gotta do. I mean, I doused it. You just put some oil on that, that uh, knob right there until the noise goes away. You should lubricate these things. I did um, all of them. That one's starting to go out right there. So, a bunch of lube. And then as for the driver's side blend door actuator, I took the uh, lower kick panel off, or whatever you want to call that. And then... <laughs> It's way up in there. There it is. That one's a little trickier to get to. Same thing, two bolts. Uh, I used that pick and pulled off the electrical connector. Um, this one I just unplugged and put a new one in and it was fine. So I'm not sure if there's a um, programming procedure for that or not. But I imagine you could do the same thing on the other side. Just hook it up, turn them both to the same position, and let it run into its position. Well, anyway, nothing exciting. Maybe it's helpful, maybe it's not. Also changed the hood strut for my coworker. Um, just one hood strut. Yeah, this was annoying. This hood used to fall down. It was hitting me in the head. I got a hood prop, but she finally got a new one. Uh, you just take a flat blade screwdriver, pop out this little black ring right here, um, stick it in there and pull it out, it pops right out. Piece of cake. Same thing on the bottom. Alrighty then. Chevy Impala almost done. Tomorrow I'm going to put the kick panels back on and uh, change all four brake pads. It's just doing a pad slap. So, is that what they want? That's what they get. All right, peace.